until my first hookup was we were down with give a mosquito net. I was wondering why I was not in Peru. <laughs> but um, I did the same thing as Tara too. Like she like said that she got a glass of water up to like brush her teeth. I did the same thing just so I could like, I was used to having the whole like water back and everything. It was just like really weird going back into my life, like the normal life. Cause like I drove my car yesterday and I felt like the weirdest thing in the world. I'm like how do I drive this thing? Like it was weird to like experience it again, especially because we were just been driving around in a boat the whole time. And then just, I've just been thinking a lot about how different our lives like really are. I wrote about this in the my journal, the really long journal entry about how I was just thinking about like what can I do now that I'm back. And I was like just trying to figure out like, what can I do to help these people by like not being there anymore. Like what can I still do? And I'm still struggling with that because I don't know what I can still do. Just kind of like... What can you keep after? Cause I, think, I don't know what they were. <laughs> um, well, I was like service. And I just wrote this on like, my slide too that I learned that service is more than just like donating clothes. It's like involves connecting with someone on like a more personal level through like human touch and like love and everything. Um, I mean it was hard to like kind of explain how I was feeling in a way because I feel like it's hard to explain someone's emotions. Like trying to explain how I felt when the girl like came back to like hold my hand to like walk back to the boat. It was like really hard to talk about that. Yeah. But I didn't know like how to really explain how I felt in a way. I like seeing all the kids like smiling and like looking, oh, well not just the kids but everyone in general was just like so happy for us to be there and like welcoming us. I loved when at the village when we pulled up they were like singing like the welcome song and everything. I was like singing that song yesterday. I tried looking up on YouTube to try to figure out what it was but like I actually don't have it on YouTube but like so I was like trying to figure out where the song is coming from so I can like remember it. But um, I said this in the group cross sharing thing earlier, but like just never just be really open to all new things and experience, and like don't be frustrated because like there will be sometimes you will be frustrated about like yourself or about the whole experience in general, but just like to keep an open mind, and just keep like pushing through. Um, I think it was like. Berlin really like I'm not I don't say like bug me but it really did like bug me about like seeing how they're living and how like they literally have like nothing. But then the kids look so happy when they're like waving at us and everything. I'm like how do they how are they so happy when they don't have like anything? I, don't, I did understand that. It like really confused me. Cause it's like I have all this stuff at home. Like I have a car. I have electricity. I have food in my fridge. But they literally have like no clean water or anything. It, like really bugged me. I like doing that because it made you like. It gave me time to think throughout the whole experience and like seeing how other other villages too and how other people lived and kind of like comparing them. So I kind of liked it in the beginning too. It's kind of like first thing we get up about oh we're so excited to see the manatees and everything. And it's like Berlin like hits you right away. It's like this is what it's really like down there. And like we didn't really ex a lot of people didn't really expect that to like happen right away, but it's like here it is. Like it's what's really like it's like reality for them.